Pandora, Spotify, watch out, new competition is on its way. Apple is a step closer to developing iRadio. The tech giant has finally reached a deal with Sony Music and its publishing arm Sony ATV, one of the last roadblocks for the product. Universal Music and Warner Music have already struck deals. This deal took quite some time. A major point of contention for Sony was how much Apple would pay for songs that people only listen partially and then skip. As it stands now, under Sony's two-year introductory deal, Apple will give 10% of any ad revenue it generates from Sony Music. iRadio is expected to be a free, online, ad-based service that uses user preferences to tailor music selections, much like its future competitor, Pandora. All Things D explains iRadio would be like an enhanced version of Pandora. Users will have more control over their songs than what Pandora offers, but not full-on demand like you have with Spotify. Pandora currently reigns supreme when it comes to internet radio, with about 70 million active listeners. But CNET reports it's only available in the U.S., Australia, and New Zealand. Apple, on the other hand, hopes to make its services more global, including countries like the U.K., France, Germany, and Japan. And announcements regarding Apple and its radio service have been rocking Pandora shares. When Apple signed a licensing deal with Warner Music Group, Pandora's shares fell more than 10 percent, and they are still down about $2 from last Friday's close. But one economic analyst argues we won't really know how Pandora will fare until Apple actually unveils iRadio. We doubt Apple will be dominant in this venture. Whatever Apple does, everyone will get a chance to get excited or frightened of it. Apple is expected to make an official announcement about iRadio at its Worldwide Developers Conference Monday. For Newsy, I'm Logan Tittle.